along with the Treasures curriculum came a book by Dinah Zeik called Foldables. And I had the e-version of the book and I was looking through it online. And um, I thought it looked really interesting because their notebooks become these interactive tools for learning. And an opportunity came about that Dinah Zeik actually came to the Seattle area and I was able to attend a training with two other teachers here in Mount Vernon. And we were blown away by what we saw and what she could do. And Dinah has used these um, techniques from kindergarten all the way up to college level. Well, like, like it gives you new ideas and it's like if you wanted to do, like to study for a test or something, you can just do it at home and you can ask like anybody to help you study for it and it's just easy to make and pretty much you just glue and paste and it's faster and more information you put down the more you study better. One thing about Treasures as well, it's a great program, it is very heavy in copy paper, very heavy because there are probably f between the spelling and the vocabulary for each week you might be making a packet of like 10 pages Last year with the foldables that we used, we could take the five weeks of work and put it into one spot. We have science journals, math journals, reading journals. And so what I was thinking is it gave the kids one place to go instead of two, two different places like here's your foldable and then here's your spiral notebook. So instead, using Dinah's um, ideas, I turned their spiral notebook into their foldable. Uh, sixth graders sometimes have trouble with organization. <laughs> so it's nice that they know where their spiral notebook is and, and how to access it. The foldables have helped increase student engagement in my classroom in that it gives the kids a really good study tool for them to flip back and look at key concepts throughout the unit. Over this term, I'd been really not happy with a lot of how their spelling scores were turning out. So I took some of the key words and concepts and, and turned them into a foldable. And I was really excited because just yesterday, our past test, I think the lowest score I had was a 17 out of 20. And I, and I asked the students about it and they had said it really did help to use the foldable. I write down the words and then I will look them up in the dictionary and then I will study them on the foldable and then flip them when you cut them, you can flip them back like that, and you can see what the definition means, and that's how I'll get steady for my spelling test. We deal with some very high-level vocabulary with treasures, um, and words maybe that adults, English-speaking adults, don't use every day, like sheepishly or quarantine. And so to try to, to translate that into kid language, I think the foldable does that nicely. There are students that uh, learn while listening more and there are students that learn more while writing and there are students that learn more while uh, physically doing something and foldables brings all of this together they are just another way of layering in a good teaching technique to continue to engage students and I think it also creates fun in the classroom because for two minutes or something they are able to cut and glue which for sixth graders probably reminds them back to when they were in first grade. But then that cutting and gluing turns into a study tool. And I guess my goal is, as I'm teaching these techniques to these students, I would love to see them carry it through as a study skill. Because I, I believe it's a skill that you can use, just as Dinah Zyke said, from kindergarten all the way through college. And I would like to see all of my students using it in college.